If you have found this video because you are desperately looking for gift ideas this Christmas, in this video I'm going to be using Xtool's D1 Pro 20 watt laser cutter and engraver to see if I can make all of my Christmas gifts with it. Stuff like this and this. And I'm going to be doing it all without using any of my own creativity whatsoever. Stick around and I'll show you how. researching laser cutters and engravers to see if it is a tool that'd be valuable to add to my collection. And I'd found the Xtool D1 Pro 20 watt and had it in my basket on Xtool's website, debating whether it's worth continuing with the purchase. When I received an email from Xtool asking if I'd like to review one, if they sent me it for free. So of course I replied, yes. Xtool boasts that this machine can engrave a variety of materials from wood to metal and even glass. I tested how small it could engrave text to and I could read it down to about four or five point on metal before it was too blurred and a little worse on wood. It can also apparently cut through thick pieces of wood. So I'm gonna put the machine through its paces and see if I can give gifts for everyone this year by turning cheap off the shelf items into unique customized gifts. And if you're thinking about getting one of these for yourself, I'm gonna put links to all of the products used down in the description. So what if you don't have a creative bone in your body whatsoever? Well, first of all, let me point out that creativity is a skill that you learn. It's not something you're born with no matter what anyone tells you. But if you haven't got time to master creativity before Christmas, here are some very easy ways to make virtually unlimited gifts for people this year. So to start with, I'm gonna be making this unique personalized rolling pin, which cost me four pounds 50. So I'm going to let you in on a secret and point you towards a website called dafont.com. This website has thousands of fancy fonts that you can download for free for personal use. And what's great is that they're all grouped into categories so you can easily find one to suit the look of your project. Here we can see fonts for Valentine's, Easter, Halloween, and Christmas. For this first example, I wanted something that looked handwritten. So I headed to the script section, found one that I liked and downloaded it. I also like these squiggles or flourishes on this other font and noticed that they could be added by themselves, so I just downloaded this one too. So over to Excel's Creative Space application, I typed in what I wanted to engrave on the rolling pin, then selected the font I'd installed. Next up, I found the second font with all the fancy squiggles and typed in the character which gave this nice heart shape, and I did a second one and turned it upside down. I picked up this rolling pin for £4.50 from Wilco, which anyone in the UK will know as a cheap homewares shop, and I placed it on the RA2 rotary bed attachment, which Xtool also sent me to play with. After a bit of alignment to make sure it's centered, the D1 Pro did its business and created this masterpiece. You can buy personalized rolling pins online. This one I found was selling for just under 30 pounds. You can do the exact same text printing with free fonts on a variety of items, such as this gardening set, which cost three pounds to buy. For this one, I used the chuck attachment, which fits to the RE2 bed, and the handle didn't fit in the normal teeth, as you can see here, but it does come with these extension posts, which really help to grip the strangest of shapes when combined with this other accessory, which helps to support the heavier end. Next up, I recreated this personalized serving tray, which would have cost me 45 pound if I bought it online. This blank one cost me six pound, and it was harder to engrave because the head hit the side when I did the framing run, but I got over this by reducing the text size. After a coat of varnish, this thing looked the part. These trinket boxes were one pound 50 each, and with these, I cut the letters out to stick to the top of the boxes, which I then painted. I also did something pretty simple with this personalized ruler, which cost £2.29.
uh, this one was actually for me. So we've covered fonts. Let's talk about artwork and images. This laser cutter can engrave images from photographs and it can also import files in a format called SVG. And you can buy the digital SVG files on places like Etsy for practically anything that can be cut or engraved. So in this example, I'm gonna engrave a glass with an image which would cost me around about 20 pound online. I got this glass for one pound 50. Now when you engrave glass with a diode laser, it first needs to have a coating to stop the light passing through the glass. And the best thing I found was just some silver spray paint. Whilst that was drying, I headed over to Etsy and I searched for an image file. Now I have friends who love mountain, so I searched for mountain SVG and found someone who was selling a digital bundle for £1.54, which I purchased and then I could download it instantly. So back to the Xtool Creative Space, I imported the image, resized it and picked the font I liked. So back to the chuck on the RE2 attachment and I'm using this support attachment as well here and I leveled the surface so that it was the same distance from the head for the engraving. I also did the same to these stemless wine glasses with a Christmas theme. And once they were engraved, the silver paint just scrubbed off with a scouring pad. And for a finishing touch, I made this box, which was a perfect fit for each of them. So back to Etsy, and you can also buy SVG files for project to make yourself, such as this box. The cut file for the box cost me £3.28 to download. I added my own text and graphics and the D1 Pro cut it out for me. I also found these files to cut flexible hinge patterns for £1.82, which I did buy just to see what they were like. So lastly, I attempted to recreate this personalised Father Christmas chopping board, which sells for £20 online. The board cost £2.75, the process was the same, except I made this one two-sided, so it gets used more than one day of the year. watching this video through to the end I do hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something and thank you to Xtool for sending me this awesome piece of equipment have a Merry Christmas and I look forward to seeing you in the new year where I have some epic videos which I've already filmed that are just working their way through the editing room take care